Hello friends, welcome to Simply Chemistry. In this video, we are going to see how to convert a Saha's projection to the Fisher projection. Hence, it will help us to assign the absolute configuration easily. Here I have given you a Saha's projection. I will show you the methods to convert it into a Fisher notation. The first method is to convert the given staggered Saha's projection to a Newman's projection. So this is the first carbon. So that is represented by this. And the second carbon is represented by the circle. So there you could see that, that the bromine is on to your left side and the hydrogen is on the right side. Likewise, your OH is on the left side and hydrogen is on the and methyl groups are on the top and the so now, before converting this into the Fisher notation, we have to convert this staggered form to the eclipsed form. So to convert it, we are going to rotate it to an angle of 180 degrees. So that will convert this molecule. So your Br is going to be in the same position. Hydrogen stays at the same place. Methyl at the, we are rotating the carbon which is behind. We know that single bonds are free for rotation. So the groups opposite to each other will meet. So this methyl goes to the top and again OH comes this side and hydrogen is here. So now you're going to directly add the same thing to this. So this is your first carbon. And this is going to be your first carbon. And this is going to be your second carbon. So methyl goes in the top that is already there. So bromine goes on to your left side, hydrogen is on the right side, likewise for the second carbon, OH is on the right side, and this is on hydrogen is on the left side and methyl at the now let us go to us assign the absolute configuration. So we have two chiral centers. If you are not sure how to assign it. I encourage you to watch my previous video on assigning RS configuration. So we are going to assign the configuration. So for the first carbon, we are going to do it. So this gets the first priority, followed by this and followed by. So you could see that the direction is anti-clockwise. Hence, it is yes, but the lowest priority group, that is priority four, is not projected at the bottom. So we flip the configuration to up. So the configuration of this carbon atom is So we'll move on to the second carbon atom. So now we are going to assign the priorities. So one, two, and three. You could see that it's again going on the counterclockwise direction. So it is S, but as the lowest priority group is not projected at the bottom. We are flipping the configuration, hence the assigned configuration is up. So this carbon atom also has a R configuration. So this is the first method. We converted the given staggered conformer or staggered the Saha's conformer into a Newman projection. Then we converted that into the Fisher projection. There is another method. What you have to do is that you try to rotate this molecule 180 degrees in this direction 180 degrees so we get this arrangement so your methyl comes at the bottom your bromine goes to your right side and your hydrogen comes to the left side likewise in this case your methyl goes to the top hydroxyl group comes to the right side and hydrogen goes to the so now what you're going to do is that you're going to pull the molecule from the bottom side you're going to pull the molecule when you do this you just write the same actually your methyl group is at the bottom so this is your first carbon i'm writing for the first carbon your bromine at your right side the hydrogen is on your left side while doing this you have to flip the configuration you have to exchange the groups your methyl is at the top OH goes to the opposite side, that is we are just changing the position and hydrogen is here. 
Now let us again check whether it is holding good with the previous method. So we are going to assign the RS configuration. So for the first carbon atom, so we are going to do it. So this gets the first priority, second priority, third priority. You can see that it is going anti-clockwise again. The assigned configuration is going to be S, but hydrogen is not projected at the bottom, so we are changing it to Likewise for the second one, we, this is going to get the first priority, this is second and third, again you could see that it is going in the anti-clockwise direction, it is yes, but the least priority group is not at the bottom, so we are flipping the configuration too. So both these methods hold good, give the same Fisher notation. There is another method, another method to do it. Just by from the sahas, you can directly convert that into a wedge and dash projection. Then we can assign the RS configuration. Uh, I have showed how to do it in the previous video. Anyhow, I will repeat it once again. So imagine that you are viewing the molecule from this direction, in this direction. So these hydrogens will be projected towards yourself. So they get the wedge. Whereas these groups will be projected away from you there, so they get the dashed lines. Likewise, if you view the molecule from this direction, the same is going to happen. Bromine and the hydroxyl group are going to get wedge, and the rest of them, or the, those hydrogens, are going to get the dashed lines. Now let us try to assign the RS configuration for these. So we'll uh, start with this one. So this is your first carbon, this is your second carbon. So now let us assign for this one, this carbon atom. So imagine you are viewing the molecule from this direction that is opposite to the dashed line group. So let us assign the numbers first. So this is going to get number 1, this is going to get number 2, and this is number 3, and this is number 4. I am just drawing it that here for you. So your 3 goes on to the top. Your 4 comes onto your left side, 2 onto your right side, and your 4th group goes behind. Or that priority 1 goes behind. So now it is simple to make the 4th group go behind. So you rotate the molecule uh, with the 120 along this direction. So you will land up like this. The 4th group goes behind, that is the hydrogen fourth group and when you rotate it when this goes here automatically this comes here and this comes here so two will be here one will be here and three is here so now you could see that we are going to assign the configuration by going around it so you could see it is going clockwise the configuration is even if you draw the Fisher notation for this case it will be of this sort your 4 will be here, 2 is here, 1 is here, and 3 is at the top. So if you rotate it, you're going to get the same other. So let us try for the second one. Let us try for the second one. So this is the second carbon atom. So let us assign the numbers first. So this is 1, this is going to be 2, and this is going to be 3, and this is going to be 4. So you start viewing the angle from this direction so you could uh, see it that two goes onto the top your three is on your left side and uh, your four on the right side and number one goes behind. this is three and this is four. so again go for rotation so this time you have to rotate it this direction so you get The fourth group goes behind, so three comes here, one is here, and two is at the top. So again, you could see it is getting the same configuration. Even if you practice for this one, you will land up with the same configuration. Either you can follow the previous method, or you can even directly do this. I leave this as a practice problem for you. You can try it when you have the time, but you will get the same configuration, there will be 
no change. So now we are going to see how to convert the given Fisher notation to a Sahas projection. Though it is easy for assigning the RS configuration with the Fisher itself, this conversion would help you while doing some organic reactions to write their mechanisms and so and so. So let us see how to convert it. So we know that uh, this is going to be your first carbon and this is your second carbon. We know that this is going to be the first and the second one is going to be a circle. So for the first carbon, the hydrogen is here, chlorine is on to your right side and methyl is at the top. For the next one, same case, the methyl goes to the top, your hydrogen is at the right side and fluorine is at the left side. So now we are going to rotate the carbon which is behind with 180 degrees. So this is something like we are converting the eclipsed conformer to the staggered conformer. So the first carbon atom gonna remain the same. So I'm just uh, writing it as such. So the group which intact gonna come in the opposite direction. So these two are intact. So this gonna be in the opposite direction. So again here it's gonna be a hydrogen and fluorine is gonna be behind. So now it is again simple. Assume this to be a first carbon and this is your second carbon. So the first carbon is like hydrogen, fluorine, CH3. Likewise, this is going to be CH3 and this is going to be your fluorine and this is your CH3. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and make this conversion easily. Thank you.